I just wanted to show you some parts that you might have at home and uh, make a, a home do-it-yourself um, powered air purifying respirator or PAPR device. You could get around town and not get infected by the COVID. And so what I'm showing you here is a portable CPAP device. It's an older one. It's a small one. Um, you can see that it's not very big. Um, but you could use uh, an older one. You could one that's in the closet. Uh, you could use the one that you're using to sleep with because this is very uh, easily assembled and disassembled. So that's a CPAP de device right there. Also, you could use like maybe an, a nebulizer uh, pump um, or something like that. Something that puts out the pressure that a human's able to breathe and also create the positive pressure we're looking for. All right, so if we just use the CPAP machine here, you'd be uh, stuck to the wall. You'd only be able to move around the house. Um, and there's no point in that because hopefully everybody at home is well. Um, and you don't need to be uh, protect protected from each other. Um, so to allow us to move around, you need a battery pack, a battery source of some kind. Um, this right here is a battery pack for a CPAP device, um, but I've seen them uh, made from uh, 18650 uh, lithium cells. There's many other external uh, battery sources for power that you could use in conjunction with the CPAP device. Um, but yeah, this will help us get around. Okay, and so I'm going to show you some accessories that you'll need. Um, on the top there is a, um, a CPAP hose. Um, you could use um, any type of hose that connect to a CPAP device. Um, but yeah, that's going to allow you, uh, the air to be um, transferred from the machine to you. Um, then we got a piece of tubing um, that I that's going to uh, serve as an intentional leak to create a positive flow in front of the air intake uh, and then of course to be able to deliver that you've got a um, oxygen adapter that connects in front of the CPAP machine and that uh, will connect to the, the tubing right above it. Now we're going to talk uh, interfaces. Uh, down here at the bottom is a Fit Life mask. It's a CPAP mask. Um, it covers uh, your whole face. Not a full face but your total face. Uh, it's a, it serves as an eye shield. It protects your nose and your mouth. Um, it's delivering positive pressure. Um, but mainly what we want it for is delivering that pressure out away from your face. Um, and it'll protect you from touching yourself too. Um, but let's say that's a little too much or you don't have access to something like that. Um, right above it right there is the new F30 um, full mask. It covers... Uh, your mouth and your nose, so uh, you'll be getting um, air supplied without getting external um, droplets or atomized germs, um, it, you know, in introduced into the air you're breathing, and it also uh, pushes some of that air out, but you'd also want to use uh, some kind of eye protection along with it um, so that nothing, no droplets or anything gets squirted in your eyes. I'd probably recommend the bottom one because it's a more total com protection. Um, I believe the, the top two will serve well. And you'll also need something to kind of encase everything so you're able to move around and not have all kinds of components in your hands. So I just grabbed a regular old tote bag. This one's designed for the CPAP mask or the CPAP machine uh, that I showed you earlier. Um, but I think anything will work as long as you have a specific kind of components there. Now I'll show you what I did with the CPAP machine. Really, this is just a basic. Uh, my next video will show uh, the humidifier that I'm tweaking. That'll provide extra protection. Um, but basically what I did to this, if you turn it around, um, I just uh, duct taped a filter that I made using a mask. This kind of mask, I used, I just cut a piece of this mask off and just duct taped it to the back of my in, air intake. This will protect uh, from any droplets or uh, anything kind of directly splashed on there. Um, but there's other things that we're going to uh, do to this device that uh, will also enhance the protection. And next, I'm just going to take my machine and stack it right on top of my power source. So. It'll kind of look like that.
I went ahead and connected the power supply that came with the CPAP machine uh, to the external battery uh, and now it should be ready to go. So I'll just simply turn on the machine and it'll start to blow. So you see, this is essentially the air being supplied. Now I attach the O2 adapter uh, that's going to create the intentional leak we need uh, for the positive pressure, it's going to blow away all those droplets and germs. On this end, I connected the tubing to the O2 adapter. And in a second, I'll turn around and show you in a close-up what I did on the back end. On the back of the CPAP machine, in front of the air intake, I taped down, very basically, we're going to improve that, but I taped down the other end of the uh, tubing. And if you notice, there's little holes. Um, they're drilled uh, in front and in an angle to push away any kind of air that's coming towards the air intake. So any kind of droplets or atomized particles that happen to be in front of the machine will be pushed away so that you don't breathe any of that. When you take a breath in, it's pulling air um, around the filter, but not in front of the holes. And finally, I connect one end of the CPAP tubing, or whatever tubing you're using, to this, the front of the oxygen bleeding adapter. Um, and then the other end, right here, to our total face mask. And together, you have essentially a closed system, pushing away any kind of germs from your face and away from the air intake, so you won't get any nasty infections. All that's left is just to kind of encapsulate it in our bag and we're ready to go. All right, so now we're looking at something a lot more presentable. We got a nice little carrying case. Inside is our connected uh, CPAP machine respirator. Uh, and then the hose is coming out the front of the bag that's connected to our total face interface. Um, and um, that's about it. I'm gonna show it to you on the go um, and uh, you'll have more on an upcoming video, absolutely. And the final part of this video, but the first part of any prevention, is making sure you wash those grubby hands and wear uh, personal protection like gloves. And uh, every time you come home, take them off. Every time you go out, put them on.